Many followers know that I moved uh, to the 1968 Alaskan Sourdough channel from my previous channel, which was Having Fun After 50, which pretty much shows the whole um, lot of the building of the cabin and all that kind of stuff. And we moved away from that platform deliberately to a non-monetized cha channel just due to problems with YouTube and what I could show and content and frankly for what I was getting out of the from a monetized perspective it wasn't worth the hassles here we are in the middle of October October 10th it started snowing and got me thinking this time of the year I get uh, kind of nostalgic we started this journey man in uh, late fall of 2013 I believe and the actual work began in 2014 due to purchasing it uh, there's some difficulty there some legal stuff we had to clear up once you start the trail work I .e. a path you've decided you're gonna try to get into your property that's when the work kinda begins and uh, this is you know some clips and pictures of uh, the trail work that we had to do just to get to the property once you get to the property and you start using that trail first it's a couple of little mud spots you know not bad in fact you don't even worry about it once you got it cleared but then it turns into this I mean it's just you can't even get through it you've broken all the topsoil and the tundra on top and that's where we almost lost the rig uh, with the wife in it but you start building bridges across with trees and make everything and anything you can do to make it better and luckily we had a guy with a sawmill down the road that had some slash and everything and we were able to make a pretty nice bridge or slash road if you would right there if you don't build in front of him he's got that hill oh i love my land my hubby and i's land our alaska land really did a good job leveling. I mean, it's not perfectly even, but well, I can walk across it. So here, there's the wood pile I was talking about in winter. The wood under the wood under the wood pile. It is about 1230 in the afternoon and look at that, the sun is already peeking through the trees. This is going to be an awesome place for a cabin. And we're panning to the right and we're about to the front of our property again. Well, as the snow continues to accumulate out my window here, that August uh, we had pretty much got the, well July there's a lot missing here, but we got the basic frame up and by August we were starting to put up the rafters September we end of September it was really wet but I remember doing the rafters and we had finally got it enclosed and by October we had the built the windows in the doors in and we were able to actually have some fun that you know following year a few months later we were out there with a the snow machine um, really enjoyed it had some good times out there with friends and family it does snow a lot out there I mean a lot Since then, some of you have may notice that we've upgraded uh, to a different type of toy that I really enjoy. We use this in the summer, especially like this when the water's deep and in the winter. The problem I found with tracks like this in the winter, those tracks or the lugs, like you would call it on a snow machine, they wear down pretty fast on the gravel and rocks. So if I had it in a perfect world, I'd probably have two sets or maybe even get another set. But this toy here has been uh, a lot of fun. 
I really, for being out there, it's, it's the way to go. As the snow keeps coming down, it's a gentle reminder that winter is upon us. I'm sure this is going to melt off like it usually does. But it's a little nudge to get you going in the right direction. Speaking of the right direction, um, we got another little toy that we'll have to show you. It's not ready yet. No, it's not the pickup that I ordered. But it has something to do with snow. And uh, we'll see if we can get out. I plan to get up there and work on my ATV. And Saturday, I wake up to a pool of water on the floor. Uh, the line going to the ice maker broke. and So that was a good thing we didn't leave that Friday night. I don't know why it picked that time to do what it did. But we were very happy that uh, that morning we were able to deal with that and be here at the house and today it's uh, snowy and raining freezing rain on the road so this weekend was shot I shouldn't say shot but uh, I didn't get up to the cabin like I thought to get things done but again this this channel here is going to be more for more diverse topics besides the land um, naturally a lot of it is going to be about the land uh, really enjoy it up there the peace and quiet and the things I can do up there, anything from a big garden to shooting my uh, rifles and pistols. It's just a, it's a different scenario. I really like it. Of course, the other aspect of being out there is the wildlife. I uh, really enjoy seeing the mama moose and the youngins running around close to the cabin. They're a little leery. They're not... Uh, how should I put it? Not a city moose. City moose uh, cross the street with the cars and they walk down the street and stuff. Uh, Got to be fairly quiet and respectful. Um, they don't like coming in too close if you're out there at the cabin and stuff. You can always tell when there's a bear around. I try to refrain myself more so from politics. I have a strong opinion on it, and with that I get very opinionated. But I also will have, and frequently, I'll throw in some money matters or some big news uh, that is just breaking. Just get the word out. But I'm obviously uh, a lot of the toys that I have aren't exactly from working an 8-to-5 job and I do have some investments and not going to show you all of them what they are, but I'll give you some insight. And I am, and no, here comes the disclaimer no way a expert, financial expert, nor am I giving advice. I'm just going to be showing you what I see and what I have done or may be doing in the near future. So, that also, I'm there's so got a few things that I'll probably throw in here as the channel develops. And if I see a lot of, you know, hardly any views or nobody wants to watch that uh, distaste, I'll, I'll back off of it. Um, if people don't feel like they're uh, getting what they want, I'm not going to try to push it down their throat. I know what works for me, and it may not work for you. So, like I said, I want this channel to be a little bit more of a broad reach, the more encompassing of, I don't want to say my life, but uh, it is. Um, there's certain things that allow me to do certain things, and at times, due to bad investments, I can't do certain things. So it's uh, just my life, not yours, but uh, we, we'd like to give that insight to people that are watching also. Well, we got in, but uh, I think that's as far as we could push snow. As you can see it's up to the, the tracks are down there somewhere. Snow's about almost to the hood. We were pushing and pushing and finally high centered with snow underneath it. So hopefully we can dig that out by hand and get a trail out tomorrow. But yeah, it's it's gonna be a lot of digging. Really wish I had a snow blower up here now. Might have to dig out the snow machine and see if we can get her out running and might be the only way out. 